Welcome to my instructional video on arthroscopic removal of a loose body from the knee. After the arthroscope is placed into the knee, a systematic examination of the knee including the suprapatellar pouch, ACL, PCL, synovial gutters, and the medial and lateral menisci are examined both visually and manually. This view clearly shows the location and size of the loose body. Fingertip pressure from the outside of the knee can be used to move the loose body into an easier location for removal. A grasper is then inserted and is used to remove the loose body without any difficulty. It is important to make sure that the grasper has a secure hold on the loose body so it doesn't get lost in the soft tissue as it is being removed from the knee. The knee should be examined again to confirm no other loose bodies. Once all of the loose bodies have been removed, the examination of the knee continues to identify the source of the loose body. In this situation, it came off of the medial aspect of the patella or kneecap during a patellar dislocation. There clearly is a large amount of loose chondral debris as well as exposed bone in this location. A shaver is then used to remove any loose bone or cartilage. This is done to prevent any further loose bodies from forming as well as to decrease pain from the injured site. Once it is completely cleaned and smoothed, any other additional surgery in the knee is completed, the arthroscope is then removed, the wounds are closed and the rehab can begin.